Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys are okay. So today we are going to make another video about Blue Team 2 and operations. And today we are going to talk about a tool for patch management. Okay, I use this tool in in the in the company I work for. So it's a very nice one. It's cheap. And it works well. The name of the tool is Patch Manager Plus from Manage Engine. Okay, so I'm already here with the tool. Okay, I already added one computer. Okay, one server. Uh, it works for Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows servers, Linux, Mac OS, and so on. Uh, well, just to check this, sorry, we just look for patch manager plus manage engine. Now I already signed in into. Okay, uh, we have like a free trial for thirty days here. Uh, you have to use a corporate mail address. Okay, I already have an account here, so uh, you just press this button and then you're going to the sign up page. After that, you can use it for 30 days. Okay, uh, well, I already installed, as I told you guys, I already installed into one VMware right here, Windows Server 19. So, Patch Manager Plus, it's a very nice and very easy tool because why why I say that I'm not saying they're the best tools in the bar no we have like Vicarious from Israel we have uh, Double Sus from Microsoft itself and we have other companies that provides like Qualys provides patch management you know but uh, <clears throat> a standalone tool on my point of view, Patch Manager Plus is one of the best tools because we we are going to see few videos about Patch Manager Plus, okay? But here is the home, all right, the dashboard. Here you can see like how many deployment failed systems, how many systems require rebooting, okay? Like missing patches waiting for approval, automated patch deployments. We can install the agents through GPO, GPOs or just download the executable or using script, you know, there is a lot of stuff we can do. So network patch status, you don't have because I'm, I don't have a network. I didn't configure anything yet. And here we have like missing patch based, right? 120 days and so go on. Now, uh, if the first thing you have to do before anything like that anything we have to go to the agent that we have to download this agent for linux or for windows or for mac os all right as i told you guys i i already did it i already installed it too because it's too easy it's too simple you just have to press next 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 and next and that's all but there's a trick thing I'm going to show you guys. So, download the agent. You can choose the platform, Mac OS or Linux, and then you can put like into a work group or a domain name. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to work perfect. Okay. So, after that, you just download the agent. It's going to download the agent, and then you can install it on your machine. After installing, you're going to receive a message that there is a computer waiting for right here, waiting for approval. So you just check the computer and approve this computer. And this computer is going, is going to be starting man, being managed by you. Sorry. 
you guys can see here I have two information like computer name, domain name, uh, agent status, last contact time, right? Agent version, uh, remarks, remote offs, logged users. So I'm using administrator as it's a Windows Server 2019. Okay. And if I click into the computer, I can have more information about it. Like, you see, patch scan. We can shoot down from here. We can restart the computer because the agent is already there. And then have patch details. So, this is before we do anything else, all right? We have the installation agent, remote installation, or using GPO, or SOM policy, okay? And then we can make the configuration to the agents, all right? Like protection settings, agent tray icon, icon, sorry, uh, Linux agent settings. We can predefine, we can modify the, the, the work group or domain. IP scope as OM settings replication policy. We can modify that one, we can create a customized one, customized one. So, uh, what's the trick thing after you install in the agent? You are going to approve that into the platform, into the dashboard, but there's going to be yet to install. Why? Because we have to come here, open the agent troubleshooting tool, and this is going to, if I press here, it's going to be yet to install. And then I press, it's going to start appear approved. Okay. So I can see here, like, there is no active directory service, agent services running, agent identity, uh, agent binaries. WMI and antiviruses. I have the versions of the operating system, the name of the machine, everything I need. So we can see here the troubleshoot summary, or we can view the logs also. Okay, we can export some of the information here. So, okay, now let's see how it works uh, in the practical way. For patch applying, uh, well, missing patches already finished scanning. So after all I did, I go to the system, and then I can just press here, click here to check the box, and then scan system, and it's going to and it's going to start to scanning the operating system, the server, and it's going to bring us all the patches that needed to be applied okay so we can see some more information here like i have the summary ip address and other things okay so we can see installed software and the patches all right here we can just press install all of them but let's back here and then high vulner vulnerable so we can install the patching okay uh well it's a scanning as soon as it's going to stop we can see more vulnerabilities now we have another option we can go to patches and then we can see all the patches that should be applied okay all the patches well, for this video not take so long, I'm going to stop here. And then in the next in the next video, we are going to see how to install the patches. And then we are going to move on on reports, deployments, everything else. All right. So thanks a lot for now. Thanks for watching my content. I hope you like it. And if you like, just give me a like, share for friends and subscribe to my channel. Uh, so that's it. Take care of yourself and till the next video.